Hi, my name is Hannah Trisky, and today I will be talking about cancel culture, what it is, um, and doing an analysis on it, and why it is important to us. So basically, cancel culture is a growing trend where um, mostly occurring on the internet, people are canceled, mostly influencers, high profile individuals. Um, it can also happen to the average person, but it is mostly. Um, higher profile people who are canceled for past actions um, that come to light. Um, honestly, most of them are um, racially based. Um, one of my artifacts um, going into that is Rachel Kirkconnell, who was on The Bachelor. Um, she got canceled for a past racially insensitive photo um, when she was in college. She has since come out with an apology, um, but is still being very criticized now, although she's trying to educate herself and learn. Um, and my second artifact is an article surrounding cancel culture in the political realm. Um, of course, these two artifacts show two different sides um, and perspectives on how cancel culture can affect our daily lives. Um, and as cancel culture is becoming more prevalent in society, we need to educate those who make mistakes and those who are willing to learn, like Rachel Kirkconnell, rather than taking away their platform. Um, for my two artifacts, I decided to do a rhetorical analysis, um, more specifically a cluster criticism on them um, to find the big values and themes, but a rhetorical criticism can be defined as the practice of evaluating how colors, shapes, symbols, typefaces, constructions, and language and other rhetorical devices make meaning in our lives. Um, and more specifically, my method, um, cluster criticism, is a process critics can use to evaluate the perspectives and world views of a person communicating something, which is from my source Newbold in 2017. Um, a cluster criticism identifies key terms, creates clusters around those key terms, and then those help explain the artifact. Um, to do my cluster criticism, I use the web sources Voyant, Lexos, and Scout, which I actually found in my uh, communi communications class um, to do on my two artifacts. And these basically um, just allowed me to copy and paste my articles into there and define the common themes and words um, that were most prevalent throughout my article. Um, so for my bachelor artifact, the most common words were controversial allegations, change, bullying, social media, and rumors, whereas my political world artifact, um, the most common words were cancel, gain, election, Republican, political law, and campaign. Um, so after finding these key terms, I placed them into common themes um, that were displayed throughout the artifacts. On a separate note, I put in this little political cartoon, one, because I love them, and two, because it's extremely relevant to this topic, as at the moment, um, Dr. Seuss um, at UC The Cat in the Hat and Mr. Potato Head are being canceled um, by certain individuals um, for Mr. Potato Head pronouns and other reasons. Um, but all in all, um, on my two artifacts, the words that I found in my Rachel Kirkconnell Bachelor artifacts show the more internet reality TV show based side of cancel culture. Um, this deals a lot more with bullying on social media and truly how fast the information can spread whether or not we know it's true yet. Um, and the words I found in my other article um, surrounding cancel culture in the political realm provides more insight into the feuding between the political parties and what the intentions are, whether or not it's just to tear someone down or whether or not it's to correct someone and um, take away their platform so that they don't have a voice in the political world. Um, but overall, both of these are important themes because they do show the values that society is looking for and the expectations that society is not only setting for the high profile people, but also for us um, as individuals. And cancel culture also shows that we often respond on impulse rather than taking the time to understand why a person said or did certain things. Um, like I said, Rachel Gurkonnell, she was unaware or uneducated on um, what she was doing in college and she didn't know that she was in the wrong, but now that she does know she's in the wrong, she's trying to learn and move on and um, educate herself and educate others. So I think that's something important that um, society needs to do a better job of is educating those who want help.